Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today we're going to talk about how this can affect planes. So, um, yeah, you may have noticed the recent Crew 1 launch to the International Space Station, I think. So, um, yeah. So how does that affect planes? Well, let's get started. So here you can see we have Earth and to okay, so to So, to go to space, so to go to space, all you've got to do is just, okay, uh, I'll make this bigger, so that it's a lot, so that it's a little easier for me to explain and draw. To go to space, all you've just got to do is go up, out of the atmosphere. Now we'll draw the atmosphere. To go to space, all you gotta do is go up, straight up, and then so basically, if you go straight up, oops, I was supposed to do that there. To go to space. You go straight up, and then all, all that happens then is that you come straight back down, down. But, but hey. But I want to be sure that's a space station. I could just say that, oh, it's here and I go up and I dock with it and I'll stay there. It's not like that. I'll pull the station down. To go into space, okay, we just go this way straight up. But to stay in space, this is the challenging part. Um. To stay in space, you're gonna go horizontally very, very fast. Oh my god. Oh. But to stay in space, you could actually get to so called Leo slash. Low Earth Orbit. So here you can basically see me changing my. So you can. So the circle changes basically my apple axis and my per axis changing. So here, to stay in space, you go around very, very fast. To the exact speed you've got to go around at. Here it is. Around twenty-seven thousand kilometer an hour, which are just a bit. 
What's 27,000 kilometers an hour in miles an hour? That would be 16,777.02 miles per hour. Okay, thank you, Siri. So what, it'll be around, so you go around 16,200 miles an hour to stay in orbit. Now I'll just double check with that. What's the orbital velocity of Crew Dragon? I found this on the web. What's the orbital velocity of a rocket? Here's what I found. Okay, I'll just stay with me for a second. Seventeen thousand five hundred miles an hour. What's seventy thousand five hundred miles an hour into kilometers an hour? Actually, it's a really little mistake. Twenty-eight thousand. What's that? No mistake. What are you thousand? And uh, for the miles an hour. That's how fast. So, um, so uh, basically, so basically, how you're supposed to get to orbit. How you're supposed to get to orbit. So let's say that this is the ground. Cool for the make it that big and take up so much space. And you have a rocket. And then this will go up. And then over here, let's pretend it's this thickness. No, why not just actually this? And then first stage separation, second stage goes on. This is how Crew Dragon gets there. And then second stage separation, the dragons. Going to talk of the International Space Station. This is how it basically goes. So all of the parts that that are in yellow is the first stage. There. This is the second stage. Yeah. That's basically it. It's actually a very fascinating journey to get to orbit. Now here's the question. So it does have any like like what's his topic as you have seen by the title screen? It's does rockets affect Planes. And that's what yes they do. So let's get a new one. So 
This is Earth. This is what Earth actually looks like. Not to scale. I go to upper atmosphere. So I want atmosphere too big. I want to compress the atmosphere. There's too much air. Ha ha ha. Okay. So what? The part that's in white will, and then black, sorry, will be the flight plan. I'm planning to go all the way to this and then into orbit. Now here's the problem. If there any, what if there's, what if there's any planes, which is, I get it on top. No, oh well. So uh, basically, what if there's any planes like here, here, here? What if it's in the path of the actual rocket? I mean, you know how if it just goes straight up? Yeah, it goes to space, but it doesn't stay in space. For example, if it just going to space like. Oh yeah, I done my science. Have a come back. No, that's not how it goes. Take no no. It stays in space and does the science. But as I said, you gotta go. As I said, to stay in space, but to go into space, you gotta go straight up. But to stay in space, you go sideways very very fast. So what do we do then with all the planes? Well, um, well, the best thing you could do is just to cancel the flights. And you, you may ask, why though? Why do you cancel the flight? Well, uh... Just take a look at this photo. Um, yeah. If I get the annotate function up. Like, you can clearly see the flames. So, the part that's highlighted in yellow will be the flame. Okay, go all the way down to here. Now, Look at that. Okay, so uh, let's bear with me for a sec. Now what? Now, okay, this doesn't seem like much. Okay, let's see a space shuttle launch. Oh, well, as a matter of fact, in case you're interested in learning about this, there are six or seven space shuttles. So, uh, the ordered in. So, uh, the ordered in. So, uh, they were 
Enterprise, Challenger, Discovery, Columbia, The Endeavor, and The Atlantis. So those are the space shuttles that actually flew. This one, uh, it's far too, it's far too far away to see, but just remember the Falcon Knight compared to this. Look at these SRBs. Just a highlight. Like this is going, this could like, okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, just look at the SRBs. This could like go on forever, dude. Like this is like the last year, like a space shuttle is about quite low actually. I have to see how long the space shuttle is. Just bear with me. Okay, the space shuttle is one hundred twenty-two point two feet. Like it may not sound like a lot, but can okay, us see how many space shuttles could fit in there? One. You can feel that this is going to take a long time. Just to the board, you're just going to skip this part. Okay, about six flipping shuttles. What's 122.2 times six? It's 733.2. Um, okay, so if this well, it's this high in the air. This is the uh, Atlantis, I think. 732, 732 feet. Like, literally that high after clearing the tower. Like, okay, we go back to SpaceX's thing. Like, it will only be like a few feet compared to this. So you see, like, all of that, all of those things, it does stay in the air for quite some time. And having a jet fly through, let's say, their own field, for instance. Big, 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 big no-no. Okay. Get rid of everything. Annotation. Oh, um, in case you guys really want to know which space shuttle this is, I'll tell you which one it is. Um, it's... Um, okay. Sorry guys, I didn't actually find it, but we'll use the STS-135 launch as an example. STS-135 and 132 was held by the Atlantis. And 133 was held by Endeavour, I think. That's Discovery. And then 134 was Endeavour, and 135 was Atlantis again. Make its final journey. For the final space shuttle ever to be flown. Okay, so um, uh, yeah. So now we're basically gonna cross up of why they don't fly in it. Let's see what sort of scenario will be like. Very basic. 
also obviously there's some planes in the circle and the the airport and this is the rocket launching they're not allowed to go over it yet and also unless that's an airport near the beach no rocket should be ever passing it <clears throat> No rocket should be ever passing it. Exceptions. Uh, actually, there's no exceptions. Someone. Uh, there's no exceptions apart from SSTOs, which are not out yet. So, you yeah, guys. Uh, um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And, uh,. Yeah, see you next time. Bye. Oh, uh, before we go, um, just a quick note. Uh, every time a rocket is launched, I won't be live streaming, unfortunately. But, um, uh, yeah, you can go to this website called rocketlaunch.live. Here, you can tell the launch schedules, recent launches, uh, November 29th. Then the RS1 and then the Starlink 16 and uh, people if people look at those, Chi those Chinese the so called Chang'e Hop which took the probe to the moon so this is the RS1 yeah. And then this is the Falcon 9. Yeah. This is another Falcon 9 launcher. The Electron. And yeah, this is the cool one I was, I was talking about. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Don't forget to keep an eye out for the Crew 2 launch, which will be happening sometime soon. Uh, yeah. See you next time. Bye! Also, uh, in case people want to know some more information about a crew one, its crew is its crew was I think the left to right was Michael Hopkins, Sh uh, Shadow Walker, Victor Glover. It's Victor Glover's first time. In space, and uh, searching the Gucci. That's the order from left to right, I think. So, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye!